Hey everybody, I'm Delicia and thanks for tuning in to my weekly top five cigar picks. These are the cigars that I've chosen for you guys for your week of smoking. Starting with number five, we have the PDR Capa Madura. First time this one is entering the lineup for top five. Um, this is a beautiful Maduro cigar, nice little pigtail um, on it here. And it's coming straight out, the, out of the Dominican Republic. So Abe Flores has blended this one with PDR cigars. Featuring a nice flavorful Brazilian Arapiraca Maduro wrapper, Dominican Criollo 98 on the binder, Dominican Criollo 98 and Nicaraguan Corojo 98 on the filler. So sweet and spicy, very nice balance to it. A little bit of a woodsy background as well. So very nice on the PDR Madura. Moving down the line, we have the new um, Aged Limited and Rare Second Edition by Rocky Patel. This was launched during IPCPR this year, so a follow-up to the first um, Aged Limited and Rare. This one is said to have been blended by Rocky uh, in 2016 and then left to to sit for a couple years as it aged even further. And it's limited and rare in the tobacco being used as well as the run that they're doing. I believe there's only 40,000 in each size, if I'm not mistaken. So it's a nice little box press, beautiful um, packaging, box, uh, band, all of those things, very nice rose gold. So something kind of eye-catching and very elegant looking. And this one is featuring a Mexican San Andres wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, and Nicaraguan on the filler. So it has a nice silky smoke. It's complex, medium bodied, um, has a, just a nice overall flavor. You get that kind of subtle spice, that little bit of a uh, dusted cocoa on the sweetness. Uh, really nice. Moving along to number three. Another new one from the trade show. This is the Aging Room bin number two. This is a 100% Nicaraguan cigar. So very nice. Um, again, Rafael Nodal is somebody who's been making cigars for quite some time. So he had a hand in this one as well. As I mentioned, it's 100% Nicaraguan, but more specifically, it's using an Omete binder. And then the filler is from Esteli and Jalapa. And then some of the filler is also from Omete. So, a lot of good flavor here. The best way to describe this one is a nice combination of being sweet and earthy. So again, a nice offering from Aging Room. They always make some flavorful cigars. Um, still my favorite out of their lineup would be the La Boheme. I love that cigar. Um, I haven't had it in quite some time, but just kind of, um, you know, remembering that out of their, their lineup, that was one that stood out to me and was a favorite of mine, but <clears throat> That's not on the lineup this week, so we'll go ahead and stick with the bin number two. Again, 100% Nicaraguan on that one. Moving on to number two, we have um, the classic here, the La Paulina bronze label. La Paulina is a beautiful line. They're another one that just makes some great cigars, the majority of which are rolled in Miami at the El Titon de Bronze factory. So this one being the bronze label, a little bit different coloring on that, still has that nice picture of, I believe it's the grandmother of William Paley, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Goldie is her name. So beautiful band, um, just always love their, their artwork. And they use, again, those classic family photos. So it adds a touch of vintage, still being very classic and very elegant. This one is featuring a Honduran Habano seed wrapper, Honduran binder, and then Honduran and Nicaraguan on the filler. You get the creamy coffees, a nice little subtle sweetness, cedar, you pick up a little bit of hay and citrus on that one. And making number one this week, we have yet another new one from the IPCPR trade show. This one is the High Clear Castle Victorian. So the High Clear Castle Edwardian with the blue band, the blue box, very pretty. Um, that one made my top or my number one cigar of the year last year. Um, just a very exquisite cigar. This one is very nice. This one is a little bit different. It's a fuller bodied version, I guess you could say, that pairs very nicely with their High Clear Castle Gin. Uh, but this one, again, for the details, it is featuring a nice um, upper priming of, the, of an Ecuadorian grown Habano wrapper, uh, Matafina on the binder, and then Nicaraguan on the fillers. So you get a lot of different 
uh, flavors on this one. You do pick up the cedars, you pick up um, a nice spice kind of all the way throughout. Leather is definitely present in this one, as well as uh, surprisingly, when I when I paired this with the gin, I didn't pick pick up this note, but by itself, I pick up uh, a little bit of a hickory flavor. Kind of weird, just kind of random, just was smoking it by itself and just really noticed that there's just that little touch of hickory in there. So really nice woodsy profile. Um, just a very, very elegant stick. Very nice, available in five different Vitolas, um, as was the original um, High Clear Castle Edwardian. So just a very elegant cigar. Definitely one that you should try out, pick up a box. They're, they're great. They're made very well. And again, they're blended by uh, Nick Melillo with Foundation Cigars, so you know they're on point. But definitely a, an exciting lineup this week, the majority of which are brand new cigars to the market. So definitely want to pick up a handful of these. Um, love to see your pictures, love to read your feedback. So keep it coming with the comments and definitely be sure to tag me in any of your posts that you do if you're smoking any of these cigars this week. So as always, I thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you all next Sunday. Cheers.